Alright, today we're going to be installing DDWRT on a Linksys WRT54G wireless router. It's probably one of their most famous routers, one of the most popular routers. Uh, um, very well known for people installing uh, third party firmware on them to make them do additional things. Um, uh, today we're going to be installing version 24, release candidate 6 of uh, DDWRT. You can download that firmware at dd-wrt.com. Um, things you need to download are VxWorks Killer and the micro generic uh, binary because that's all that can fit on uh, the newer routers. So anyways, we're basically going to turn this router uh, into something uh, that can perform a lot more functions than just routing. Um, I'll show you how to do that real quick. Okay, First, you log into the router. Just It's uh, uh, login and password is admin. Again, this I just opened this up out of the package, so it's a brand new uh, WRT54G router. Nothing's been done to it it's bone stock. Um, okay, what we first need to do is uh, we need to uh, unplug the router okay, and what we do is there's a plug on the back, a reset plug. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to hold that in for about I don't know, 20 seconds and you're going to keep holding it in about 20 seconds after you plug this in. Okay, there should be plenty of time. What that'll do is it'll take you to the management page on your Linksys router. it'll ask you to upload new firmware or it'll give you the opportunity to upload new firmware eventually <laughs> okay one thing I should probably mention is uh, before you do any of this you're going to want to change your IP address to static uh, 182.168.1.100 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and your default gateway would be the router IP address which is 192.168.1.1 okay what you do is you browse to where you put the firmware in this case, I put it right on the uh, in hard drive in a folder called dd-wrt, and you're uploading the VxWorks killer because what this does is it'll it'll take the uh, the stock firmware uh, VxWorks, which is on all the new Linksys routers, um, and it will basically kind of remove that. Click apply. You know, wait a second. It'll tell you when it's ready. Okay, upgrade success. So unplug the power cord like it says, unplug the power cord from the back of the router and plug it back in. Now you unplug it, Okay, plug it back in and you leave it plugged in for right around two minutes. After, we're wait, after we've waited about two minutes, what will happen is um, uh, we're going to uh, unplug the cord again. We're going to plug it in and uh, we're going to TFTP the uh, binary into the router. The router's IP address will still be 192.168.1.1 and under Windows this is the command to uh, upload it via TFTP.
okay we've waited about a minute or maybe a little less but uh yeah run cd first very important information right there not all right well anyways so we're going to unplug it again and we go ahead and plug it back in okay give it a minute here Okay, we're going to now upload the uh, the binary, the DDWRT binary. Hopefully, we'll uh, see some success. There it is, transfer successful. Okay, so now again we can go to okay, reload it. And now we should see the uh, a login prompt. Uh, the login now is root and the password is still admin. And it would be best to uh, change that password as soon as you uh, uh, as soon as you log in for security reasons, obviously. There we go. Okay, this is the front page. Um, it'll allow you to see all this without logging in. You can change this, you know, for security reasons again, uh, if if you desire that. Um, anyways, if you try and click on any of these tabs to set it up, like administration or you know anything here, security, it'll it'll prompt you. Um, again, your username is now root, and your password is admin. And that allow you to move around in the dialog here. Again, there's there's tons and tons of different uh, uh, options in here. Um, this being one of the most, uh, to me, the most important option right here. Um, instead of just being a uh, an access point or a client, now it can be a client bridge or a repeater. I use these as repeaters. Um, because in actuality you can actually get some of these links to routers cheaper than you can get a wireless network card. So if your uh, computer already has a uh, regular network card um, you know, already in there, then hey, you know, this is cheaper than a wireless card. So basically that's it. Um, again, uh, the software is DDWRT. Uh, good stuff. Uh, I use it on all of my Linksys routers. So, there you have it. That's it.